yo what's up guys it's nevada here in today's video i'll be giving you some tips and tricks you can use to improve in battle royale all right so first i mainly use custom well i use hip fire i don't use the ads button you know that button you can use you can hold it down and you ads and shoot i don't use that i just use mainly hip fire so when i'm when i'm adsing i am manually adsing i'm not auto adsing and yeah as you can see here i have auto loot on fixed joystick is turned off joystick off, so auto sprint is on and yeah you can take a look at these settings as well um auto door have to be turned on of course aim assist as well all that all that have to um have to be turned on guys so yeah just um just you can copy these settings not all of them i use like the ads button for rotation i don't know what that is honestly i don't know what that is but you know i think that's on um automatically so if it's on for you guys just leave it on all right so i'm gonna show you guys now my my hud layouts i play four finger claw um so my right index finger i use to ads reload crouch and also jump as you can see all four buttons is basically in the same spot that's because um well it all have to do with the size of my screen i play on an iphone xr which has a 6.1 inch screen um i just find it more comfortable when i when i put my jump and crouch button close to my ads button so what this does this give me the option to only use my left index finger to shoot so as you can see in the top left hand corner i sorry i forgot to increase the opacity on that but in the top left hand corner that's my shooting button i use my left index finger to shoot that's the literally the only thing i use my left index finger to do so in gunfights when you guys are seeing me jump and shooting crouching slide and shooting all of that that's because I have my my jump and crouch button on the top right um top right side of my screen. So my left index I'm sorry, my right index finger is used to do all of that. Why my left index finger is just focused on shooting. So when I do that, no, I'm not confusing myself or I I don't have to be stop shooting to be sliding or even jumping or crouching i can still shoot i can still crouch and you know my right thumb that's what i use to turn the screen so my right thumb is all free i don't have to be stopping to be pressing the jump button or anything like that so if you guys really like question my movements that's the reason why my movement is like that so my right index finger controls all of that guys all of that so you know my right index finger is very important when i'm playing and yeah also reloading reloading it um it never really have to be right there but you know it's best when you just have um the reload right there as well so i don't have to be using my thumb to reload and um i just like to have my left index finger hover over my shooting button so when i'm ready to shoot it's ready you know and if you guys look carefully i'm sorry i forgot to increase the opacity on both of my shooting button but as you can see the um as you can see the button right there i'm highlighting on the screen right now that is disabled that button is disabled that button is not that button is not on my screen because i don't use that button at all so since i use my left index finger shoot i just use my hip fire my hip fire button to shoot you know that's all so yeah that's that bro with my hot layout and why i'm able to jump and shoot slide and shoot and all that and still remain accurate all right so now i'm gonna hop into a match guys and show you some tips and tricks you can you can use to improve your movements in the game so you know let's do it all right so guys the first tip is when you're first landing in an area all you guys need to do is just get two guns get a vest and get some healings then immediately start searching for an enemy to kill because remember guys you don't really have to be searching all over the place for the best loot no like that doesn't make any sense since you're literally just dropping in just get a vest get two guns get some healing then immediately start searching for an enemy to kill remember when you kill enemies enemies have stuff to give you so it's best for you to search for enemies so you can get 
as much kill as possible in the area you dropped and you know you can just start searching for enemies in other area and that will help you get a high kill game like if you if you land somewhere and you leave with at least four kills then you know yo you're gonna get a high kill game because guess what you kill everyone in your area now you're going to other areas to kill people and you know that will contribute to you getting a 20 or 30 kill game even 40 or possibly even 50 kill you know so that's the best thing to do guys so yeah that's the first tip all right so when you guys are in close range combat it's best to always sip fire and not ADS because when you ADS, remember when you ADS, you move slower than when you're hip firing. Like you're almost moving at your running speed when you're hip fire and shooting. So it's it's best to hip fire because you're able to dodge enemies while still hitting your shots. And when ADS in, you're basically standing in one spot and your enemies are having a clear shot on you especially if you're or if you're at a disadvantage at first i'm not saying that you will lose all gunfights close range when you ads but i'm saying that it is more guaranteed to win a gunfight when you hip fire because you're able to still move while hitting their shots on the enemy so yeah guys it's just better for you to ads and shoot at close range and also medium range but mainly close range it is a must that you ADS and show if you guys observe other youtubers such as Yannick or Kyle or Tarzan or Parker they always they well I'm not gonna say always but 95% of the time they're always hip firing close range if you guys haven't noticed they're always hip firing close range and I'm currently learning that too so shout out to those guys um taking notes and you know improving my play style as we speak but yeah it's just best to always sip fire guys it's just best close range just always sip fire that's just the best thing to do i'm gonna give you guys some more examples right now so keep watching Alright, so if you guys haven't noticed as yet, I'm currently doing something with my playstyle. Not sure if you guys saw, but I'm like shooting, then I'm sliding, then shooting, sliding. So that is just a new playstyle that I'm learning. I honestly got this playstyle from Card Bougie, so shout out to that dude. And this playstyle, you basically just, you know, you encounter the enemy, you hit fire, slide to the opposite direction of where the enemy is looking hip fire slide to the opposite direction again you just repeat that process and when you do that now it makes it better to take less damage from the enemy so when you're when you're shooting then you're sliding to the opposite direction the enemy on the enemy screen you're gonna still be in the direction that you were first at so when you're not in that direction and you're finishing off the enemy it kind of throws them off you know that they're, that's not something they expected from you so you just shoot slide to the opposite direction shoot shoot slide to the opposite direction and finish the enemy off you know like that's the best thing to do guys like that is such a op op style like it's so so good i'm honestly using it and it's so so good as you guys are seeing right here it's it's just super broken to do something like that you know it's better than drop shotting even on enemies that drop shot now you're you're gonna slide out of their out of their sight now and when you're when you're drop shotting when you're prone you kind of you're kind of like limited to how far you can really turn your screen so that makes it an advantage for you 
to be sliding and shooting the enemy sliding and shooting and yeah you can even kill the enemy before they have a chance to get back up you know like this this play style i recommend you guys to check it out and give it a shot like it's super super good so yeah and on to the last tip all right so the last tip is the easiest of them all so this tip is just mainly just to use trickster as a speed boost literally as a temporary speed boost so let's say enemies in front of you and you just want to get a you just want to throw them off you just want to do something that's really unexpected you just pop your trickster and use a speed boost to run behind them and you just hip fire and kill them while their while their back is still turned against you you know like you just use trickster as a speed boost that's all can really throw the enemies off and can really you know get you out of a bad situation fast really really fast too as you can see right here i was in a super bad situation i was fighting like six people one time and you know i got out of that situation because trickster is super op bro super 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 op but yeah i'm gonna give you some more examples and yeah Yo, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys find this video helpful and some of the tips I give you in this video can really help you out. Um, just remember guys, practice makes perfect. So don't expect that you're going to nail it the first time you try these stuffs, you know. So you just, just keep practicing, keep practicing. And you guys can, you know, let me know on Twitter or Instagram or in the comment section how it's going for you. So, you know, just keep me updated guys. And yeah, thank you so much for watching the video. If you do enjoy, please please leave a like on the video. Subscribe as well. And yeah, I appreciate the support, guys. We're almost at 3K by the time of this recording. <laughs> I'm not sure if we're going to reach 3K when this video drops. But either way, just thank you so much for all the support, guys. I really appreciate it. And yeah, peace out.